few years ago I bought this jar of sweets purely for its color, turquoise color, to complement my Christmas decor from TK Maxx. And in today's video I'm going to revamp this beautiful jar. So if you want to see what I've done with it, just keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and enjoyed your Sunday so far. If you're new visiting my channel for the first time, hello, my name is Shule and I really love decorating my home using happy colors and glam elements. So in today's video, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel for more relaxing and inspirational videos. In today's video, I'm so excited to participate on a collab called Upcycle Jar. And this collab is hosted by three lovely ladies in following channels Mama's There's to DIY, Terrarium and Crafts, Sweet Urban Rose. So if you're not familiar with their channels, I'm going to leave the links below so you can go and visit and subscribe while you're at it. And don't forget to visit the playlist. And ladies, thank you so much. I really, really enjoyed participating on this challenge. Unfortunately, I lost the recording where I uh, glued this sparkly crushed glass so you cannot see that part but now I'm going to apply this brush using hot glue and I'm trying to decide whether to use this one or the little one and on top the lid is going to be covered with this gorgeous rhinestone sheet adhesive sheet and after placing it over I decided to use the larger button Unfortunately, while I was gluing, somehow recording stop, picture frozen, I didn't realize, I do apologize. For now I finished, but the next morning, which is today, Sunday, I did some amendments to this lid because I wasn't happy with it, but let's go and style with it first. has so much potential it looks gorgeous on any setting so I tried it in my bedroom on the dresser and you can store a lot of items inside and also I tried it in my bathroom in my vanity tray which I DIY'd next to my another DIY project for my jewelry for my rings and you can put your cotton balls or cotton swaps and it would look really really smart Next morning I placed it on my dresser again just to see and it looks beautiful 
but it slightly separated the edges on the lid so I need to do something to actually make this better because I wasn't really happy with the quality. Whenever I do DIY I really want to have high-end looking really high quality DIYs and this was not up to my standard as you can see the edge is showing so I had to use a uh, rhinestone string to glue it all the way around. As you can see I'm a perfectionist I'm still going even after finished recording I was still doing stuff to improve the quality of it and finally I am happy Since this jar was originally for sweets, I thought I would show you how it look like in my coffee station as well and I really love it in here also. So potential is there, you can use it in many different rooms in many different ways and I really love the end results. I hope you found it inspirational for your own DIY projects. If you did, please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to inspire you more. Don't forget to visit the playlist for more inspirational DIYs and until the next video, bye bye.